Vinny peed himself in excitement for this bike. Right, buddy? We're gonna blame it on that. You didn't pee the bad. <laughs> but, uh, we picked up a new bike today. Let's go check it out. He doesn't even want to see the bike. So I'm kind of embarrassed what I paid for this thing. But, kind of a cool bike. Yamaha YL1, 1967. This thing was sitting in a guy's barn for years and years and years, and he finally decided to sell it. The guy had probably 100 other parts motorcycles. This one was the most complete. But I looked through the rest of them, and there was like an RD350 in there. He wasn't selling. A couple DT175s um, that were just the frames, just rollers. And there's this one. He had up for sale for 600. And uh, I offered 350. And um, I was expecting him to take 350 for it when I got there. I drove two hours away for it. And uh, I got there, and he was firm on the 500. Does come with a title though, which is kind of rare for these things. Got the old Wisconsin license plate on it. The seat's a little ripped. It looks like it was originally a chrome color. It was painted yellow. We might strip off that yellow and uh, bring it back to the chrome and red that it once was. But yeah, she just needs to be cleaned up a bit. It's just been sitting for a very long time. Um, obviously does not run <laughs> but I ended up paying 500 bucks for this thing which was way too much but I already drove two hours there I'm not leaving with nothing so I brought her back home and hopefully we can get this thing running and driving again and save it from the uh, motorcycle graveyard that the guy had So there's 6,392 miles on it. The gauge actually looks pretty nice. Ooh, it's a little rough in there. Looks like it once had a windshield on it. You can kind of see the chrome coming through here. Missing the key. And the kickstart lever doesn't appear to be moving at all. It's not grabbing the, the shaft there. Pipe looks like it's in good condition though. No riding out in the bottom. Rear brake works. Front brake might work. Missing the tail light. Looks like that was the choke right here. Choke high and low for the headlight. Horn. I don't know what that's for. Blinkers maybe? on off switch pretty neat looking bike though pretty cool looking all right so here's the original title here and you can see last registered in 81 um, you can see the vehicle identification number L21730 right there and that matches up with the engine number right there on the engine right here. So you can see L21730. So it does in fact match up, which is super rare to find. Um, Cause you can just imagine, imagine how easily that title would get lost if this thing was just sitting for, how many years would that be? 42 years? 
It's been sitting for 42 years and the guy still had the title. That's just insane. But uh, you can see it's just caked with grime right now. So let's do a once over on this thing and just wipe it off and just see what this thing looks like all wiped off. You can see it's got barn dust all over it. So let's take a little time, clean this thing up a little bit and just kind of see what we're working with before we start digging into it. I really have no idea if this thing has compression or if it or when it last ran. I have no history behind this thing. It was just in this barn for 40 years, so it's hard to tell what shape it's in. Let's see if the seat cleans up a little bit. All right, we'll spend some time cleaning it up, and we'll begin to work on this thing. All right, it's cleaned up a little bit. That's as far as I'm going with it until we can get this thing to start, and then we'll pressure wash it off and really clean it up. Um, it looks to be pretty complete, honestly, besides the key. Um, it looks like maybe somebody at one point wired in a little kill switch right here because they didn't have the key at one point. But petcock's there, horn's there, everything's here, all the controls are here. Head, tail light is not here. But uh, yeah, I think the first thing we're gonna do, let's just make sure there's some oil in here. Oil cap right here. I don't think there's a dipstick on it. Let's just see, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a dipstick. All right, let's see if there's any oil in here. Look in there. Yeah, it's like impossible to see. Take a little dipstick, shove it down there. Hopefully we get some type of oil in there. Oh yeah, look at that. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Look at that oil. So it's not black. That's good. Let's see here. There's definitely oil in it. Surprised it's not completely black. But maybe the guy changed it out before letting it sit for 40 years. <laughs> the air box and the battery box here. Next, I'm kind of afraid to open this thing up. We'll see what pops out of here. Alright. Eee! Oh, the battery's still in there. Okay, ooh, yeah, well, little, little mouse nest going on in there. Oh, gross. Oh, it is packed full. A mouse is all the way up in the frame there. But this looks like it was a kill switch. Doesn't it? There's a fuse going to it. That must have been a temporary on off switch because the guy lost the key. <laughs> Even has a battery strap in there. Look at that. Let's try to get this vacuumed out. This is kind of gross.
then we can get the battery out of here. We'll vacuum out all that. Oh, gross. Oh, that's a weird battery, too. That is really gross in there. Surprisingly, it doesn't look like the wires are too badly cut or chewed on. A couple of them are disconnected like this one. I think that's for the tail light anyway. So none of them are too chewed up. Very surprising there. Let's take off the air filter or the air box and just see what's going on in there. I'm guessing there's more mice in there, but if you look in here, there's a space where all the wires are going, and the whole frame is hollow in there. It's like literally the perfect home for a mouse. Look at it in there. It's all hollow. And uh, the mouse nest goes way up in there. And there's more stuff in there. So let's get on the other side here. There we go. Cover comes off over here. And then this one should come off too. Maybe not. Go on the other side and check. We'll go on the other side and take a peek. So here's the air filter. Oh, it doesn't look that dirty in there. Looks like the mice uh, kept it alone. That's super rare, that's like a original air filter. <laughs> we'll vacuum that out quick. But man, that's not in bad shape. Air filter surprisingly checks out. Let's take a look at the tank here. See what's going on in there. It looks rusty. Oh, it's not horrible. You know, it's not that bad. I've seen way worse. It's actually pretty clear on the sides there. It's hard to see on the bottom. Oh, it's not that bad. Mostly just surface rust. Nothing too bad in there. Okay, tank doesn't look horrible. It's sitting for 40 years, I mean. What do you expect, right? So really, that's not horrible. All right, uh, I'd like to see if this thing had spark. Let's see here. We've got the boot. Ooh, the spark plug. All right, got the boot. Let's take the spark plug out. That hole's not stripped out, I don't think. Look at that spark plug. It's a short one. Interesting. It looks like they tried to fire it up too. So it's a Champion J8C plug. Looks like it was running pretty decent. Oh boy. The little electrode thing on the spark plug is out of it. You can see there's no tip on there. Huh. I wonder where that went to. Hopefully not inside here. But we'll have to try a different spark plug for this. But, uh, while we work on the kick lever, let's let this thing soak with some oil in it. This one might need the penetrating oil. <laughs> I have a feeling. We're just gonna let that sit with some penetrating oil. And then, we'll put some normal oil in there. Mix that all around. And 
get replacement parts for it. It's just a cylinder and a head. And if the cylinder's fine, the head's fine. And we just have to find the piston for it. But who knows, maybe it's not locked up. But let's deal with this kicker right here. You can see, I think it's stripped out down below here. So let's get that off of here. Kicker should come out of here. Oh, come on. Wants to come. Clean that up with a wire wheel and then we'll see what the splines look like in here. It looks like they're probably gone. Definitely looks like somebody welded the kicker on at one point. There's still a couple places for it to grab though. All right, this thing just keeps on stripping out, so we're gonna weld this sucker up. Just a couple pack welds to hold it on. All right, so it seems like it's turning over a little bit. Might be in gear. Might be in gear here. There, that's not in gear anymore. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, she's turning over. Sounds a little crunchy, but. We'll just keep on spraying some spray down there. She's a little stiff yet. Might do is warm up the cylinder a little bit. That's some good, that feels like good compression. All right. Let's see if we have spark next. All right, we got a new spark plug in here. Let's just see what happens. We don't have anything on, I don't think. Nothing. Let's see if I kick the kill switch on. Nothing. 
Nothing at all. I'm just gonna snip off this whole battery. There's no way that that battery's still good. <laughs> Super crank. Yeah, it doesn't have the year on it, but I'm sure that's an old one. All right, we'll get these stripped down here. Wire leads still look pretty good. All right, we got some new leads on here to connect to the battery. This will be a 12 volt battery that works in here. So now we're gonna be using our continuity tester and we're just gonna test and see if we hear a beep between the fuse, the two ends of the fuse here. So we should hear a beep on this side right here. Yep, so that fuse is working. So fuse is good, and then we want to go up here and see if there's one between the negative and the frame here. So the ground is working. So now let's connect up a battery to see what happens. And I'm positive. Oh, we've got lights. Check that out. Awesome. Oh, headlights working too. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. High and low work? No, there's like nothing happening. Horn doesn't work. I don't know what that's for. I'm guessing that's blinkers. Not too sure. But uh, let's see. Now, if we have spark, come on, have spark, baby. <laughs> Nothing. Let's see if I switch the kill switch on. It turns off the machine. So kill switch is working. All right, so on off switch is working. We just don't have spark. So, let's see, I think we're going to go down to the plate down here and see if there are some points behind there. Let's flip this switch off. I can't believe the kill switch works still. <laughs> Ooh, that one came. stuff. Oh man. Come on, baby. That one's on there pretty tight. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Can't believe those came out. How do you get this plate off here? That's the real question. Budging. There we go. Woo. Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. Guessing those points are bad. So we are going to check those out. Make sure those are opening and closing correctly here. Go to the kickstart and just see if they're closing all the way. Let's see if those are closed. Yeah, they're closing all the way. So we're gonna take a little WD-40 
and a little piece of sandpaper. Rough that up. Stick the sandpaper in. Get up all the old residue on the points here. Let's see if they're cleaning up here. Flip this thing back on. We'll see if we have spark now. That would be awesome. It might just be a bad spark plug too. This one isn't a new spark plug. No spark. Let's try a different plug. Nothing. Now nah, let's try crossing the points here. And we'll see if we have any spark. I feel like we're getting any power to the points because that would be sparking. Huh. It's just like a kill switch over here. I don't think we're getting any power to the points. Let's get the seat off. Bolt right here, right here, right here, right here. Comes off there. Seat's not in a horrible condition. It's good. All right, now we can get this gas tank off. There's actually a line going underneath the tank, crisscrossing the tank there. Get the heat gun out of here. Line broke off there, so brittle. That didn't really help us at all, did it? Still can't see any wires. <laughs> Wonder if the mice got in there and ate all the wires out. All right, let's open up the headlight bucket here. Just see what lights are going to the neutral wire. Maybe that has to be on for it to. To start here. All right, if we're, if we're looking through here, these are where the mice are. You can see the brown wire right here is all cut apart and chewed apart. So that's not getting anything. So that's the light brown wire. So what we can do is take a temporary wire connected from the light brown over here and connect it up to the light brown up here. All right, we got the coil out of here, kind of. Just trying to see what this looks like here. Oh man, that's bad. So the brown wire goes to there. Hmm. Should there be another wire coming off of it? 
Let's vacuum that up over there. Well, there was the dead mouse skeleton. Check that out. That is nasty. Look at the vertebrae on there. Gross, there's the tail. So the mouse did die in there. That is disgusting. We'll keep on backing out. The wire right here was off of it. You can see. Man, these mice really do damage. So the wire right here. Let's see if we can find the wire in there. Here it is. The orange one, we're gonna cut that and attach a new wire to it. So we've got the wire right here. We need to reattach. And I've got a new wire to put in its place here. I might eat everything. I'm just gonna temporarily attach that. Just twist it. And this one has to go down to here. It's really bad. Smaller than eight mil. What the heck? It's too small. Hmm. It's not coming. I think it's all stripped out. So this one right here is stripped out. I have to get the vice grips on there. It's coming. She's a little rusty, a little crusty. I'm just gonna take that off all the way. There's no way that's making good contact. Wouldn't think. That's really, really rusty on there. All right, now we've got to get our new wire right here. This needs to attach to this end of the coil. Is that my 
pretty good. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. You can see that's pretty dirty. No copper was exposed. There we go, that's a little bit better. Alright, then we'll clean this off a little bit. That's a lot cleaner. Now we want to make sure these are cleaned off here. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna turn this machine on. Oh yeah, baby. Check this out. We have spark. That is awesome. That's good spark. All right, getting spark on this thing took me a couple hours, so we're a little behind, but that's okay. At least now we have good spark on this thing. Let's go to this side and take off this cover and get to that carb. It looks like everything is intact. So we have compression, I think. Feels like it at least. We have spark now, so all we need is fuel. And we're gonna be in business here. We might actually get this thing to fire up. That would be a small miracle, but it is possible now. Look at that, that looks good in there. Got the oil pump, got the carb. All the throttle's not even locked up on it, nice. You can see the slide moving up and down and then the oil pump is actually working as well. So that is sweet. So there's actually a little cap on the side right here. This is the access port to get the carburetor off. See that pops out of there like that. And then I believe it's a flat head screwdriver. Yeah. And you can take that carb off. So we'll have to get those lines out of there. You can see, just like that. And that carb, that carb should be pretty loose on there. Get these lines off. Pretty hardened up lines here. There we go. Now oh, this whole carb should come out of here. Might be a little bit of a struggle. Oh, there's a slide that was out of there already. See, somebody tried to work on this thing, but just kind of gave up on it. Come on, there we go. That's a 12 mil. Uh, 
choke is stuck in there. Sometimes you just have to use a little force. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the choke is stuck. A little penetrating oil down there. Sometimes heat too, we'll loosen that right up. We'll try penetrating oil first. Let that soak in there for a little bit. Oh man. Oop, there we go, popped right out. <laughs> Stuck pretty good in there, there we go. All right, cool. Slide looks good. Let's tear into this carb. All right, let's see what's going on inside this carb here. Those weren't too tight at least. It's actually snowing right now. Wow, and it's April 22nd. Snowing in April, end of April, that's, that's something. Crack this open. <laughs> Hasn't been open in a while. Ooh, look at that. Yikes, that's pretty bad. That is a lot of gunk in there. At least it comes off pretty easily. At least it's not that sticky stuff. See if we can get this fluid out of here. Oh, wasn't even stuck. That is rare. Usually, those usually those are really stuck in there. That's awesome. Fluid doesn't look too bad. Little needle stuck in there. Let's see if I can grab that out. There we go. So that looks. Pretty Pretty simple. Got the main jet. Not much to the carburetor here. Pretty gunked up. Main jet's clogged. Looks like we're running a 110 for the main. That's completely clogged. Let's see what we're running for a pilot here. That's completely clogged. Um, this one is, I don't think it says on it. Huh, doesn't say on the pilot. Wonder if that was replaced at one point. And then we've got the air screw right here on the front. Kind of a weird place for it. Let's see how many turns out. Three quarters of a turn out. Should be a little spring in there, yep. Got the fish fat out. There we go. There we go, and that's the whole carb. Not much to it. So we'll clean that out, throw it back on, and we're gonna attempt to start this thing. See if she at least pops over and runs for a little bit. All right, carburetor's back on and installed. Everything's working properly. Slides going up and down. Let's get the plug in and we'll get some gas down this thing. 
just checked again to make sure we were getting spark and we've got great spark so we've got spark now we've got fuel hopefully we have enough compression for this thing to fire up Obviously the gas tank is rusted, we don't have a filter, and the gas lines need to be replaced, so we're going to manually feed the gas into the carb, see if it takes anything. It's too kinked. Let's see if it goes in now. Alright, we'll see what happens here. Alright, here we go, moment of truth. A choke cable is stuck, so the choke doesn't work. But we'll turn it on, kick it over a couple times, see if she sputters here. Of course the weld broke. <laughs> that sucks. Right, we uh, re-welded the kicker on there. Let's see if it holds up this time. Kicker broke again. All right, re-weld it again. <laughs> oh, oh come on. Broke again. All right, that sucker's welding on pretty good now. Let's see what happens. Kicker broke right off. You kidding me? <laughs> Kicker broke right off of there. So, well, at least we know it runs. Well, it's a bummer the kicker broke. I was gonna bump start it, but the clutch cable is stuck. And uh, as, as you can see, it just flies right off the bike. So that's not gonna work. Um, you really can't bump start it. And then um, the cover has to be on here and the battery's too big for the cover to be on there. And we have to get the seat and the tank to work and it's just too much um, to be able to bump start it at this point. But we did hear it run, it does run. So next video, we're gonna get everything else situated on it and hopefully take it for the first ride and uh, get this thing consistently running. But um, you could hear it run for a couple seconds there with the gas on the carb and sounds like it's gonna run pretty good. So it actually ran for the first time in 40 years today. 
and uh, it was a lot of work getting it to this point. I think I've got like eight hours into this, so it uh, it uh, needs a lot more work. <laughs> was it worth the 500? Probably not, but we learned a lot working on it, and uh, it's definitely a fun journey getting these bikes back to where they are rideable. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time, we are out.